Welcome everyone to Google Classroom. Today I'm going to take you through how to navigate through Google Classroom. I'll show you how to find your assignments, how to check whether you have a message from your teacher, and how to set notifications up. So let's get started. When you go into Google Classroom through your login screen for your district, my apps in our region um, or other, um, you will go to this screen and you'll see your classrooms uh, listed. So there'll be a bunch of them here. And you'll see from here, I've got, I'm in one class here. It automatically will tell me if there's something due tomorrow, I can go right to it. But I can also go right to my open your work. And I'm going to show you that when we get into the classroom as well. So that's really cool. So if I click on here, I can get into my classroom. You'll notice that your classrooms may be set up a little different. Every teacher does it a little bit different. It might look a little different. But you have three main components at the top. You have your stream. This is where most teachers put announcements. So you want to check that to see if there's any new announcements. Then you have your classwork, which is where you'll get your assignments. And then the people will show you who is actually in the classroom, i.e. the teachers and your peers. So from here, you'll notice in the stream, uh, you'll see that right away you can have, you can see your upcoming assignments. If you click on view all, it will take you to this screen where you can actually filter by all assigned, returned, or missing. And you can actually see all of the assignments in one place. You can see what you've gotten back as a return. You can also see that there's a note here from your teacher. Okay. You can also see that you've attached something here. So when I scan this briefly, I can see, wow, I've got two messages here. I probably want to go into that assignment and check it out. Um, I have one message here. I have one message here. So that can be gotten right from the main screen, the, the stream here. Okay. You can also go to classwork and get the same list right here from view your work. So this is a good place to check it out as well. From here, you can also go, if you like to go just to Google uh, the calendar, you can go to your Google calendar and you can actually see the assignments will be listed on the Google calendar. Okay. Uh, all the assignments that you need to see uh, that are due. So let's jump into an assignment. Oh, before we do that, notice we are in classwork. We've got topics here, so we can kind of filter by topics if we want to. So if we only want to look at wellness or music, we can go ahead just to those, which is kind of cool. We also can scan down here and see that the grayed out ones are the ones that we don't need to do anything with. So obviously this one I've already, I've already done and submitted. So it's grayed out, so I know I'm done with that. Unless there's some notes, and again, I think I noticed there were some notes from there, so I'm gonna need to check that out. Okay, I know this is a question, so when I click on this and open it up, view assignment, I'll see it says, answer this question in the space to the right. Oh, here's where I type my answer. And it says, what type of music do you like to listen to when you are happy? So I would type my answer in here, and then I would click turn in, and then it would automatically turn in. All of your assignments will have the ability to add private comments. These go right to the teacher. So if you have any questions at all about an assignment, you're not quite sure what to do or how to do it correctly or you know where to start, you can always add private comments here. Okay. So I could say in here, I love rock and roll. And of course I would answer it a little bit more completely and then I can click turn it in and that way it's all set. So when I go back to my class, classwork, you can see, oh, it's grayed out because I know I've handed it in. I've done something with it. Okay. So I'm all set with that, uh, with that assignment. If I also, there's another type of assignment where it's got like a little clipboard here. When I view this assignment, one of the things we'll notice is that any materials that you need to, maybe a video you need to watch or materials you need to reference, they would be below. And then any work you have to do is over here on the right hand side. So this, if I click on your work, this actually shows that there is a document that I need to fill out. And in this case, I'm going to open with Cami because that's what the directions told me to do. From here, I can go ahead and fill it out. And then when I'm done with this document and filled it out, I can click turn it in from here. If it's a docs or a slides, you'll also have a turn in at the top. 
it'll be a lot easier to remember to do it. Once I've turned this in, so say I turn this in, say it's done, I turn it in. I save, turn in. Then once again, I go back to my classroom in my assignment. Now I'm gonna refresh, oh, it already refreshed for me. So now you notice it says unsubmit. That means, yes, I did submit it, okay? Obviously I would have spent a little bit more time with that. So that's how you fill out, your, you complete your assignments. Now you'll notice that that's grayed out. It says I did it, okay? Once you've done your work here, um, think about some other things. First of all, um, notifications. So the other thing is that how will I know when there's work to be done, right? Uh, how will I know? Well, obviously, um, probably your best practice is to check uh, your Google Classroom daily, but you could also go to these three lines at the top. I'll do that again, three lines. It's also called the hamburger. And you can actually go to your to-do list. And in your to-do list, you can um, organize it by all your classes or just one class. In this case, I only have one class in this in this sample. And then I can actually see, oh, this doesn't have a due date, but this is due Tuesday. These are all due the 30, 31st. So I can actually manage my time by looking at my to-do list. I can also go to my done list and say, oh, okay, cool. I turned it in. I don't have it back yet. This one I do have back. Remember there's a note on there. I think I can, I can resubmit that for my teacher. All right. So all right. I can always go to my to-do list. Remember that's in the hamburger. That's under the to-do list here. Okay. The other way we can do, we can set notifications as well and check to see what we need to do is to go to settings here. So again, I went to my hamburger, three lines. I went to settings. And from here, I can actually set email notifications. Now, obviously, this is only if you have email set up through your district, your school district, right? Um, it won't work otherwise because you won't have an email inbox to go to. But if you do, you can choose what you want to have notifications for. And you can make sure that your class that you want notifications for is turned on from here. So that is in your hamburger or your settings. And you go all the way to the bottom and you change them there. Okay. If you have the, if you download the Google Classroom app, you can also set notifications there as well. And then you would get it on your phone if you have the ability to do that. All right, that's your welcome to Google Classroom. Now, how can we be successful this year? The suggestions really are very simple. Check Google Classroom daily, check the stream for announcements, check your to-do list or view your work to make sure that you've, you're on top of things and you're, you're addressing any needs that come up. Make sure you know your teacher's expectations. If you don't, ask please, right? Ask them, they'll let you know. And if you don't understand anything in an assignment, make sure that you utilize those private comments and, and let your teacher know in the assignment right there. So that's it for Google Classroom. Good luck. You'll do great. Have a great year.